Do you get black dots on your nose and first thought they were blackheads? These are most likely sebaceous filaments, which are a common occurrence on the skin. These tiny pin-like structures are actually a mix of sebum and dead skin cells that fill the pores, giving the appearance of dark spots on the nose, chin, and forehead. While sebaceous filaments are a natural part of the skin's oil production process, they can be bothersome for those seeking a smoother complexion. In this video, we will help you understand the science behind sebaceous filaments and how to effectively reduce the appearance of them quickly and get rid of them long term. Sebaceous filaments are a natural part of the skin's oil production process, originating from the sebaceous glands. These glands are responsible for producing sebum, an oily substance that helps moisturize and protect the skin. Sebaceous filaments are composed of sebum and dead skin cells that accumulate in the pores, forming tiny pin-like structures that are often visible on the nose, chin, and forehead. It's important to differentiate between sebaceous filaments and blackheads, as they are often confused due to their similar appearance. While sebaceous filaments are light gray or yellowish in color and have a softer texture, blackheads are darker in color and have a firmer consistency. Sebaceous filaments are a normal part of the skin's physiology and serve a vital function in maintaining skin health. Whereas blackheads are a type of acne lesion caused by the oxidation of sebum and dead skin cells trapped in the pores. It's important you do not squeeze your sebaceous filaments. Instead, here are two proven methods that work well at reducing the appearance of sebaceous filaments quickly. Number one is the oil cleansing method. The oil cleansing method is a popular skincare technique that involves using natural oils to cleanse the skin and remove impurities, making it an effective solution for reducing sebaceous filaments. This method works on the principle that oil dissolves oil, meaning that oil can effectively dissolve excess sebum, dirt, and makeup without stripping the skin of its natural oils. To perform oil cleansing, start by choosing a suitable cleansing oil, like the Anua Heart Leaf Cleansing Oil. Begin by applying the oil to dry skin and gently massaging it in circular motions to dissolve impurities and unclog pores. Then use a warm washcloth to gently remove the oil and rinse the skin with lukewarm water. Follow up with your foaming or gel cleanser as your second cleanser. Common misconceptions about oil cleansing include the fear of causing breakouts or making the skin feel greasy. However, when done correctly, oil cleansing can actually help balance the skin's natural oil production and improve overall skin health. It's important to choose non-comedogenic oils and follow up with a gentle cleanser if needed to ensure thorough cleansing without residue. By incorporating the oil cleansing method into your skincare routine, you can effectively reduce sebaceous filaments and achieve a clearer, more radiant complexion. Number two is using salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a powerhouse ingredient known for its effectiveness in treating sebaceous filaments and improving skin texture. It is oil soluble and works at exfoliating the skin surface and penetrating deep into the pores to unclog them, making it a valuable tool in combating sebaceous filaments. Additionally, salicylic acid has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce redness and inflammation associated with acne and other skin concerns. When choosing salicylic acid products, it's important to consider the concentration for optimal results. For treating sebaceous filaments, a concentration of 2% is typically recommended for home use. Look for products like cleansers, toners, or spot treatments that contain salicylic acid in the appropriate concentration to target sebaceous filaments effectively. We recommend the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant to use for your sebaceous filaments. To incorporate salicylic acid into your skincare routine, start by using it once to twice a week to allow your skin to adjust to the exfoliating effects. Gradually increase the frequency as needed, but be mindful of any signs of irritation or dryness. You don't need to exfoliate every day as this can lead to an impaired skin barrier, causing your skin more problems. It's important to follow up with a moisturizer and sunscreen as salicylic acid can make the skin more sensitive to the sun. By incorporating salicylic acid into your skincare regimen, you can effectively treat sebaceous filaments, improve skin texture, and achieve a smoother, clearer complexion. Now long-term, to reduce the recurrence of sebaceous filaments, you want to be incorporating retinol into your skincare routine. Retinol helps remove dead skin cells and stimulates your cell production. 
It will also regulate your oil production to function at a normal level, the amount of your oil your skin is producing. If your skin can't tolerate retinol, you can try niacinamide instead to help regulate your oil flow. If you decide to use retinol in your routine, don't use it in the same application as your salicylic acid. Use it on an alternative day. Some of our favorite retinol products include the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum, the Medicate Crystal, Retinol. The combination of oil cleansing, salicylic acid, and retinol offers a powerful synergistic approach to combating sebaceous filaments, targeting them at different levels for more effective results. Oil cleansing helps to dissolve excess sebum and impurities on the skin's surface, while salicylic acid penetrates deep into the pores to exfoliate and unclog the pores. Retinol is used to regulate your oil production. Consistency and patience are key when it comes to any skincare routine. By incorporating oil cleansing and salicylic acid into your skincare routine and sticking to it, and slowly incorporating retinol for your long-term strategy, you can gradually reduce the appearance of sebaceous filaments and improve your skin texture over time. Let us know in the comments below what has worked for you with your sebaceous filaments. Now that you know how to get rid of sebaceous filaments, let's talk about how to get rid of all types of acne. For that information, we have put this video here for you to watch next.